content of the world's most expensive schools. I see them visiting their friends' vacation man mansions all over the world and taking their friends to our. They're in a different world than the rest of the population. Uh, I have my affirmations on the index card, so I picked it from. Okay, what's the affirmation associated with that goal? Now, that could easily be broken down to four or five goals. Okay. Four or five goals, excuse me, four or five goals do not have to have four or five affirmations. One affirmation can be all inclusive for the four or five goals. Now go, Leonard. I'm happily and easily addicted to building this juggernaut of a company. Oh, I have 15 billion in there. I'm happy, happily and easily addicted to building this 15 billion dollar juggernaut of a company. We're working on it and fucking obsessed. Okay. Now, just to give you an aside. When I came up with this, I wanted to be with a castle on an island with a moat, da 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 da. And I see my children playing tennis, playing golf on our own golf course. Uh, I, uh, I see the uh, our governesses and nannies uh, that uh, once worked in the Buckingham Palace. Uh, I saw that. Okay, I see myself strutting around the property, and I visual, visualize this with uh, my uh, my boots and my uh, my uh, riding crop. Uh, being a, a, the most uh, influential gentleman farmer in Scotland. No, that's what I saw, okay? That's before I had that fucking painting, before I had any of this. And so that's what I would say twice a day, okay? Go ahead. Do I have to? No, you don't have to, okay. Um, I got only goals. Uh, one goal and an affirmation. Okay. Um, well, help kids to go private school and start their business. Well, my kids are sharks driving their businesses and being more successful um, in their areas. Okay, you got to add more adjectives. You got to make it more colorful. So uh, words that remember can't be too bodacious. Can't be too overwhelming. You know uh, the, uh, the, the, the for example, if uh, if if you wanted your kids to you know uh, uh, go into space, I see them walking on the moon. I see them. Uh, easily going to flight school. I see them easily uh, 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 taking off the first time with the, the jet, uh, jet thrust. I feel the G's of the jet thrust. I mean, you got to really elaborate. Again, because your subconscious doesn't know that, it, you know, it's just bullshit. And, and the more you say it, I mean, the athletes uh, understand this. When, you know, when they are, they're talking about, uh, they're in the third or fourth year uh, of skiing, I see myself, uh, uh, you know, uh, winning the downhill by a uh, full two seconds, which is virtually impossible, by the way. You don't win downhills by two, you, you win it by two hundredths of a second. I see myself uh, in the cold wind on my face accepting uh, the gold medal. Uh, I, I, I accept the a a accolades and the applause of the uh, Austrian people if you're Austrian, or the Russian people if you're Russian, or the American people if you're American. I see, uh, I mean, you've got to really throw yourself into it. You really have to go over the top. Okay. Mine's not that specific. Though. Okay, well, tell me and then I'll make it specific when I uh, tart it up. I, I am passionately adding more and more money and assets. Okay, what's the goal, though? The goal. Um, and thirty thousand dollars to buy whatever I want. Thirty thousand. Well, uh, you know, I, I would I would have made the goal. I uh, I feel uh, uh, it's well within my comfort zone having unlimited expenses daily. Then the affirmation: I am wildly uh, uh, overwhelmed uh, with joy, knowing that no matter how much money I spend, it's not a dent. Uh, it's not a fraction. It's not chump change. I mean. And there are people in the world that have no, you know, Sally sometimes thinks she's one, but she has no limits to not her abilities, her ability to spend money. Um, and the, um, you want this, and when you talk to your kids about affirmations, and you can start affirmations at three, four, five years old, uh, you start with goals. Uh, with kids, you start goals first, then affirmations. So when they get used to the goals, and they understand the goals, then you add the affirmations. If you add the affirmations with kids too early, with the goals, they get confused. Okay. Now I'm talking about three, four, five years old. If your kid's 18 years old, he's not going to get confused. Okay. Um, the uh, almost everybody understands goals. Very few people understand the affirmations that are associated with goals. Okay. Um, Australia. 
Uh, so the goal is to um, set up my board and close my first deal. Um, and then obviously That's a good goal. And then have multiple deals after that. Okay. And the affirmation. The goal should read, uh, my goal is to set up my board, the associated extended dream, dream team, including banks, uh, and uh, motivated sellers, and then what's the affirmation? I close massively profitable deals on a regular basis, making huge money for myself, turns me on and gives me a big fat raging heart on. Okay, <laughs> raging heart on, okay, well, uh, the, uh, 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 I, I, uh, uh, yeah, close, close deals as soon as humanly possible. Now, you know, on the one hand, when I show you 117 days, it doesn't have to take 117 days. The guy only worked a few hours a day on this while he was being, you know, a dentist. It doesn't. I mean, I told you, and you're not me, and I've done this a gazillion times. I could do it in 30 days and buy a deal. I told you it would take me a week, and then it would take me uh, a couple of weeks to find a motivated seller that's willing to do 100% seller finance. Now that you understand seller finance, I've been talking about seller finance for 25 fucking years. But now the kids are doing them. <laughs> okay, I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's in the water, we, a different kind of pasta, I don't know what the shit it is. But you can close deals in uh, the board and everything, I mean, in a couple of months, maximum. So, I mean, seller finance is not, it, it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science. And, and you can even find seller finance, you, you know, like you, you've, you've heard them push out the payments. I mean, these guys aren't from central casting. I didn't hire these guys as actors to come and lie to you. I mean, but the conventional wisdom is 60% finance, 40% equity. You know, that kind of thing. But that's conventional wisdom. In, in my parents' neighborhood, when they paid off a mortgage, they used to have mortgage-burning parties. You know, you had a mortgage from 1946 to 1976, 30-year mortgage. Then all of, everybody got together and they burned the mortgage in the, like a barbecue, on the barbie. And, uh, and I remember uh, asking my dad, I said, have you ever considered renegotiating the mortgage? You thought that I said he was a communist. He says, no, you, that's in stone. No, it's not in stone, Dad. Believe me. This is what I do. He says, no, no. Don't, don't mention that to your mother. Don't, I mean, whatever, you know, she'll get all nervous. Because that's the generation that they were. Okay, um, goal and affirmation, please. So, goal was to weigh 70 kilos. Weigh? Yeah. What do you weigh now? 63, 64. Well, uh, the, um, okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm powerful and strong, weighing 70 kilos in 20 months. Okay, and what, okay. Now, uh, the experience of gaining, I know you better say 90 kilos. I mean, because, so just in case you don't make, you know, not, uh, the experience of, of gaining 95% uh, muscle and weighing 90 kilos and getting more ass than a toilet seat at a bus station uh, and being 10% uh, body fat and have uh, all fast twitch muscles, it, uh, it, it gives me a raging hard on 24/7, 365. Okay, okay. Since we got we got hard ons up on the table now, yeah. The um, but I mean the uh, most of the people here. Mo there's not anybody uh, here. Probably everybody here could give you at least five pounds. Okay, because everybody here is at least five pounds overweight, so they could give you five pounds and so in their affirmations, I give the kid five pounds, <laughs> you know, I'm happy to give the kid five pounds, etc. Okay, um, you. So I didn't write down the board. Don't give me excuses. I'll Save those for your weekly report. I'm happily and easily increasing my net worth by $10 million or more per month. I always have more than enough. I'm happily and easily managing a portfolio of property and businesses valued at more than $50 billion. The world is mine. And I am happily and easily tithing to my church slash archdiocese slash Vatican. It feels good to build on traditions and give thanks for all my blessings. Sounds like a Catholic boy. Once they get you, goddamn, <laughs> it's unfucking believable. Once they get their thumb up your ass, I mean, there's, uh, at least uh, it doesn't make me feel any better than I know I'm not the only one. But I mean, once they get their thumb up your ass, okay. I would just add some adjectives, you know, uh, 
uh, in this quest, meeting the Pope, kissing the Pope's ring, uh, you know, uh, uh, et cetera, et cetera, uh, add some things. And then, uh, and then when you, have you been to the Vatican? Okay, it's, it's, it's an experience. They go to the Vatican, okay, and then, I mean, uh, first look at it on Google, and, and then so you, you feel the ambiance and, uh, uh, of the Vatican. The, uh, okay, anybody else want to volunteer? Yes, sir. Goals, a financial goal, 10 billion or more as fast as humanly possible, my affirmations. Uh, I'm happily and easily increasing my net worth by 5 billion or more each and every month. Uh, I'm happily and easily getting the best mergers and acquisition deals that will do excellent in the market. I'm happily and easily enjoying the lenders getting a huge amount of money on lowest interest rates. I'm getting from millions to billions from lenders and investors. I'm happily enjoying uh, doing the best work in the world and only the best is coming to me in my business. I'm um, happily and easily acquiring my generational wealth from expected and unexpected ways. And okay, add on, you know, that the, um, uh, my, you know, like those affirmations we saw that were just tits and ass, but yeah, I, I'm not telling you to forget the tits and ass, but I mean, uh, money comes to me uh, unexpectedly. Uh, I feel uh, uh, overwhelmed, uh, and, and, uh, not, but not satiated with money that comes to me unexpectedly. You don't want to be satiated. Satiated means that you get used to it. It becomes your default. I mean, uh, the, uh, and staying successful, guys, is a hell of a lot fucking harder than getting success. I mean, it's staying because default, I mean, being rich, I, I've been doing, I, I haven't had to work in 35 years. You know, uh, some kids at the Jason Capital thing that you were at asked me, well, oh, how do you get up in the morning? You know, uh, how, you know how, what, meaning what motivation do you have to get up? That's what the society is now. What do you mean, well, how do I get up in the morning? I mean, the, um, and I've, I've been, you know, one of the goals you should have, and the, uh, all of you should have, is that um, goal is to form new, bodacious, uh, 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 extraordinary habits of the high performance person. Okay? And then your affirmation associated with that is I'm ecstatic, overwhelmed, how easy I, uh, I attract good habits, high performance people, and uh, how uh, uh, easily I uh, can in, uh, uh, lead people, enforce QLA, uh, being all that you can be. I mean, what you need, remember, you're the average of the five people that you uh, hang around with. And uh, right now, for the most part, there's a, a few exceptions, most of those people are dog shit, okay? Uh, and so you want a higher echelon. You want a higher bar. Uh, you want higher expectations. When you, for those of you that have employees, when you use the weekly report to filter your, high empl your employees, I guarantee half of them will quit. Maybe all of them, depending where you in the world are where you're in the world. They will just quit um, because they don't want to be held. Uh, uh, Leonard, uh, uh, what, what happened when you uh, made your uh, employees do the report? One, one got fired and uh, cited to the, during the unemployment hearing that, that I told her before she was fired, there's no such thing as work-life balance. <laughs> And they work, <laughs> only uh, work life choices and they have consequences. But I, I think the, the, the guy on the other end of the phone could hear the joy in my voice. <laughs> no, yeah, but there, the woman that replaced her quit within uh, under a month. And they called you a what? She called me brutal. Brutal. Amen. That's what I want you to be called. You know, be tough, firm. But, uh, you know, um, measure their results. Most of your employees don't get measured. And if you're in sales and marketing, daily, daily, when you come into work, it's not that we make any sales. I mean, how many fucking sales did we make? And when the expectation for them is to produce every day, you know, most sales organizations have yearly quotas, <coughs> quarterly quotas, monthly quotas, sometimes weekly quotas. Very few sales and organizations have daily quotas. Well, believe me, if you build on daily quotas, your yearly turnout, top line, is going to be much greater. 
when you come around. And I used to go around to each salesperson, each marketing person, you know, how much have we got done so far? I didn't ask them, have we done any? I said, how much have we done so far? Uh, and I mean, and that's powerful. That's powerful. And remember, you know, uh, it's, it's not easy to be first in and last out. I understand that. But you, when you buy these companies to begin with and you're on site learning the business, be first in and last out. And remember, you're not there to make friends. You're there to influence people. And you're not there to, you know, uh, uh, pat everybody on the back. Give compliments when richly deserved. Richly deserved, not just deserved. Too often they say, good job. Well, fuck, what the fuck's that mean, okay? Good is the enemy of great. Well, there was a book or something like that written like that. Uh, you know, we don't want good jobs. We want extraordinary performance from everybody. And it starts with you. Any questions about, please pass in your homework. Any questions about anything? Any questions about anything? Six o'clock, whiskey tasting, kilt review, I believe seven thirty drinks or seven. Pardon? 7.45 drinks, and then uh, dinner at 8.30. Uh, any questions on anything? Who could leave first tomorrow? What time? <laughs> I assure you, you won't be seeing me when you leave. So I'll, I'll say goodbye later tonight. Okay, guys, uh, if there's nothing else, mm -hmm. very good. Great job. I'll make a speech, I'll make an impassioned speech tonight when we're wearing our kilts about go and rip their heads off and shit down their necks. <laughs>